Okay. I think we're live. What's going on? It's Cyclone back with some Grim Dawn, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I thought I would just, I wanted to make an archive update here. And uh, show some progress with my tactician. Uh, again, all my characters are legitimate solo cell found, uh, so I don't mod anything or cheat. Uh, this is just, you know, several hundred hours of gameplay and farming and just, you know, kind of playing the patient game. But, you know, I'm fairly satisfied with how this tactician has shaped up. Um, I feel like generally I was able to beat John Bourbon pretty convincingly, like not really any trouble. Uh, so I think I'm just going to go in here without any ointments and take this guy out, uh, I believe. So we'll try that. But um, you know, I'm just going to show you my sheet deeps when I'm you know fully buffed up. You know, my stun is at 71. I have uh, max resist on everything. Uh, pretty damn good all around. Uh, you know, my 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 defenses here are are, are very good and. You know, one of the key things, again, I, I'm rocking a... I just got over that 2,500 offensive cap with this current build, and that's really important. Uh, you definitely want that. But the key here is really one of the big areas, besides the block, is my almost 60% physical resistance with this build. And, and that's not counting, you know, if I throw down one of these bad boys, you know, th this, this aura here... Uh, the Inquisitor Seal, this helps my defenses as well. So you can see here, um, it first of all, it debuffs. I have uh, Assassin's Mark on this skill. Uh, so that debuffs enemies' physical resistance and pierce resistance. But then, you know, it's also helping me with um, health regen damage absorption on top of everything else. So, you know, this is a very tanky character up front. I have... Uh, upgraded the build a little bit uh, to rely on a little bit more damage. I'm using probably the best field based gloves in the game, the Colossal Grasp. Uh, these are, again, a lot of people would say this is probably the best uh, pair of gloves you can use with a soldier or a shield based character. And then I'm also using this really nice uh, belt, this Ukenbog belt that I found. Uh, has physical damage. It has a bunch of uh, neat little resists there, but then it has that one to Inquisitor. You know, this just worked out statistically for the build all around, getting that extra little bit extra damage. And then the other thing I've changed, I think since the last video I ever did on this character, uh, I'm using this Gildor's Guard, which is a very good chess piece for this. You got that Gildor's Guard skill. It's up for six seconds. You get a hundred bonus physical. You get 35% additional shield damage being blocked. You got retaliation damage going up. Just really nice. Really nice stuff. And you know, again, a little more extra damage. So I I feel like all around this is really good. One other thing I could do is change out my, uh, my amulet, but this with the resistances on it. The additional cunning, and then it has the word of pain and one to all skills. One to all skills is very, very strong. Uh, again, this is a secret rare drop. This is like Kaisan's. Uh, he's one of the. He's the mic. The. the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He's the. You know these guys. The faction boss. He's a faction boss. Uh, in Kaisan's Tyson, temple. Diamond's Temple, excuse me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go fight Bourbon. I, uh, I I finally had enough, and I'm like, I want to go actually fight a Celestial Boss and beat him. Now John Bourbon's the easiest Celestial Boss, but I don't care, because this is a solo self-found character, um, and I know that this character can, you know, easily take on uh, all, the, all the main game stuff is irrelevant. 
Like the main game stuff does not matter. Uh, this is a celestial level character. Uh, the the trick is like how good. I, I would like to try Caligadra and see if I can even survive that. I, I know when I built this character full tank in the past, I was able to survive Caligadra's hits. However, I feel like my physical resistance wasn't as high. Now it's almost 60%, which is crazy. I mean, 60% physical resistance, guys. Just, like, understand. All those big melee attacks, big critical hits some of these characters do, um, very, very dangerous. Uh, so when you can resist those hits, let me uh, actually sell some stuff so I have room. You know, I might fight this shrine as well. Why not? Let me get rid of some stuff. Sorry about that. I, I should, you know, have some room for farming. That would be. I can get rid of this piece. We're good. Anything else I can get rid of that I want to get rid of? Um, actually, here we go. So th here's another thing I could use right here. Uh, this is the mythical Doombringer. I could use this as well. I can use this. In fact, I might consider it, but the only problem is I just think that the resistances, for my character at least, you see this? Like, my fire, it's just enough with Word of Renewal up, and then, I, of course, I put my I put my barrier down and my elemental res goes up, right? But I need, I, that extra padding to me is very helpful. And then all skills to get that buff. I mean, that the, the amount of health that that's giving you all across the character um, is very important. So, Anyway, that, that, that's my opinion, but yeah. I do just want to check something here. Huh. I hate this. Um. That's one. Yeah, world of pain. Just give me a second. I'm, I'm, I'm. Uh, yeah, word of pain's here. So, I'm not using word of pain. Um. Not for this build, I'm actually have I'm leveling an apostate that uses it, but uh, yeah, th this this doesn't give me that, that doesn't help me. But the, the all skills, just having that ability to have all my both offensive and defensive team skills have an extra point helps the character a lot. So uh, I have enough room to pick up a few things. Not much. Uh, before we hang, let's see if we can get rid of. You know what? Take take this one. Out. Um, do I need this either? Uh, no. All right, that could help. All right, I think that's, that's this is, uh, yeah, this is a really good one. Um, all right. Oh, I can get rid of the leveling version of those. Okay, a little extra room. You know, just make things a little neater, a little easier. Um, so I want to... Get the, uh, the Void Walker foot pads. Why not have the stash? I guess I don't. Oh, I guess I got rid of them. Oh, whatever. All right, all right. I think I have you know a little bit of stash space. Let's just do this. Enough waiting around. Yeah, I know my stash is so messy. I, I 
not a very organized person. I'm just here to play. So, I'll be on for a little bit. I just gotta, you know, I wanna get this uh, on record. I wanna see how it does. I'll just, you know, walk in and give it a shot here. Now, I really do like the tactician quite a bit, one of my favorite classes. Um, it's kind of like an aura night. I like that play style. When I was in Diablo 2, when I was growing up, I was a paladin player, tried, tried to be hammered in. And little, you know, 12-year-old me didn't know, like, what I was really doing. I was just trying to find cool stuff. But uh, I loved how the hammered in played. And, uh, like, that idea of, you know, being tanky but doing AoE at the same time is something I enjoy quite a bit. So, one of my preferred play styles. Yeah, this character will not do the strong, the fastest clears. Uh, it's a slightly more hardcore in nature character, but it works pretty damn well. Um, base game is is completely irrelevant; doesn't matter. Um, so that's uh, you know again, I can get hit by I can get hit by a couple things. So anyway, uh, so I've only done this fight once, but it was pretty easy. I'm not going to put any um, resist up or anything. No uh, ointments. I don't. I don't think I need anything. We, we, we will see. Here we go. Who cares about the crash? Let's just. Well, here we go. This is a nice little pack of monsters here. Some physical damage dealers. Would you like to see that? Like this is not great clear speed at all. Uh, it's just very consistent. I'll just take. I'll just kill all the hero characters. See if I can get any good drops. Just see if I can find any. A little bit, you know, more engaging. A little, a little bit more engaging. Uh, the other thing is this character is a little mana hungry, uh, a little bit energy hungry. So I do rock the potion there. You can see that. Um, you know, it's one of those force wave builds. It's not fully specced into energy um, preservation. This didn't start out as a force wave character, but I found some gear that's really that balances out using a shield and maintaining decent damage. So I, you know, that helps everything when you can get away with a shield build of any kind and you're tanky but can do physical damage, or, you know, it's a good way to go if you want to survive encounters and not worry about using ointments and stuff. Uh, again, slightly more hardcore when using a shield, of course. So it's like, it's not a, it's not a huge deal, but it's just something to note that, uh, you know, if you were playing, and you want to just be a little bit more uh, all out damage, you don't care about survival or anything like that, uh, you might go with a two-hander and, uh, you know, get more mileage out of your damage there. Like this guy with a two-hander could be gone and see how much damage the force wave does there, but it takes a couple seconds to get it back out. A cask of protection, um, really nice for leveling, uh, really bad pet rolls there, who gives a shit. Then the other thing is, of course, you, you want your uh, Inquisitor seals down. They use the Assassin's Mark, so I definitely want my enemies to be in that uh, realm of influence. It helps my clear speed quite a bit. So, you know, it's very helpful to have uh, clear speed and, you know, use that. Yeah, pretty easy. Pretty easy. Keep going here. I don't even know. What is John Bourbon getting here? They're getting... They have more armor? Oh, no. I have reduced damage. But I have more armor. Actually, that might be that might be pretty good. We'll see. We'll see. We 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 will see if that's uh, better or worse for me. We'll we'll see. 
I, I don't think. Um, oh no, that is the risk. Go in. Let's fight this fool. Oh, we'll get rid of these guys first as well. Why not? All right, cool. Got a really resistant of fire. Damn, if that had been, um, if that had been, well, for a runic house store, it's not terrible, but okay. all right, let's go. Here's John Bourbon. He's going to run away. He's going to put down an Inquisitor seal. I can corner him, maybe. We'll get a clone to come out. All right, first one down. I'll just keep focusing on this. Just keep him cornered. Just keep him cornered. Keep him cornered, like he cares. Yeah, make sure I have that always up. Okay. Good. We got another clone bash coming. All right. I'll pop a energy potion. Yes, yeah, so this guy. You know, like I'm using gear from the DLC, right? And that that was gear that we got after this boss was was made. So, you know, his damage sources. As well, that I think. I'm not mistaken, the Inquisitor was patched in after this boss. Like, there's, there's certain things about the character class I'm playing that, uh, you know, they're a little bit um, older than uh, the boss himself. So, get rid of it. Well, you can just tell, like, you know, yeah, I don't need anything for this, this boss, really. It's not a problem at all. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so yep. Cool. Cinematic effect. Yeah, we have all the guys here. We have all the Idiots, electrified, deathly, burning, frozen, electrified, deathly clone of John Bourbon. All right, I don't care. Fine. He's gone. I will get uh, another potion up. And my damage is nerfed in this run as one of the modifiers, so taking a little bit longer than last time just because of that damage reduction. That's all right. The final form, let's just focus on him. Keep hitting him. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, they just they can't really hurt me uh with my natural physical tankiness. Like they just can't get through sixty percent damage reduction and thirty four hundred defensive ability combined. Like it's it's very, very strong. And then you have the fact that I'm also dodging some hits here and there with the aura up. Like it's just not so the final form, he can he can like use that uh, blade barrier effect, and he's invincible for a couple seconds. But the actual final form is coming out, guys. Uh, what's the? There he is. Uh, trying to damage me a little bit with the effects, um, and I'm keeping all the elements alive. But I don't really care. Like I'm I'm seeing if I could. Uh, you know what? Uh, actually, I'm a little, little. Uh, I'm gonna start getting 
rid of the yeah, we're gonna get rid of the other clones I'm a little bit uh, they're starting to hurt me a little bit so what I'm gonna do is just make sure that they don't pop a crit in my face I'm gonna get rid of these side clones because uh, you know enough of that Or a censure was down. Was that what happened? Or we do that. But all right. So wait till he's done with blade barrier, and then you hit him. Pretty simple. There you go. A nice little combo there. But yeah, you just do this. Once some of the other clones are gone, it's uh, it's a wrap. All right. Do that. That. Yeah. Oh, I should have waited for that. Yeah, so it's not a problem at all. Like, really, no problem at all. <laughs> Caligadra, I'll be interested to see. You know, I'll try to farm Caligadra next time. If I already have a Gazer Man, I'll pick it up again. That's the uh, leveling item he gives you. 15% bonus experience. You know, really nice for leveling. It does have some side effects, though. It ruins your defense. So, um, but you know, it's it's an old version of the low car set, which uh, I haven't done low car yet. So anyway, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, low, you know, John Bourbon's pretty easy. I think. Uh, yeah, the next test is, is, is Caligadra for sure. Because you know, that's naturally going to be the step up from that. It's the next tier of difficulty. Uh, before I do that, let me just check uh, the... Oh, no, it's on my other character. Um, Uh, okay, um, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. So again, um, good character all around. I'm, I'm pleased with where it is so far. Uh, one thing again is you see my aether is naturally low right now. I can buff it past, but it's Aether is a little bit tricky. Just a little bit more. It, it, it's, they're a little bit, um, I was checking something. Yeah, so Aether, Again, you see that I need that word of renewal up. It, it helps with that. And then, you know, you can get, you can get poked. Like, these are just hanging in there with the current build. Like, they're good. Fire, a little low. Aether, a little low. Uh, but everything else is pretty solid. Uh, so, like, Aether and Fire, definitely a, a little bit concerning. Aether especially, but... Generally, I feel like this is good. 
Uh, I, 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 I've turned this, I think I've honed this character into a, really the build I'm looking for more than anything else. It, again, it is more defensive in nature, but I have pushed it a little more offensive. Uh, this used to be over 4,000 armor, but you know, you don't really need that so much. I am using Salvation, and this is really, at least to me, a great pick for a character like this. Also, that 44 Vitality Resistance, it just helps on your gear loadout, give you some extra padding for a damage type. Uh, vitality, you know, a lot of these are caster abilities. They, they're ranged attacks or their area effects that hit you. And so Vitality Resistance is, is a good thing to have late game. So if you get the armor boost when this procs, you get the health regen when it procs, you're combining that. With this character, for example, I'm going more offensive with Aura of Conviction because it also gives you that 17 physical res, which is really amazing. You could also go, of course, with Polarons or Manier's Bulwark. Of course, this is the one that everyone abides by, and I, I'd say if I was going pure hardcore, I would probably flip back to this. Um, but again, the, the, the issue for me is that at least in testing it you get that 104 you get the the raw damage here but you also get it that physical resistance and then i'm reducing my burn duration and increasing my offensive ability as i showed you my my fire resistance burn resistance is not as high so this helps defensively as well but that physical resistance it really is, guys, having this above 30 is, this helps you greatly um, against a lot of the big attacks in this game. When the guy comes up and hits you in the face, uh, that's all physical damage, or at least the, the, the big portion of the damage is physical, and that's gonna whack you. Uh, a lot of these big hits do that. So physical resistance, there's a reason why it's at the top of this list, trust me when I tell you, it is the most important thing on this. I mean, you could say, yeah, I want to be trap resistant or what. No, guys, you want this to be over 30% in a great build. If you don't have it, you need evasion or other ways of suppression or nerfing or escape options being a caster kiting character. But, you know, if you're anticipating to get hit by those shots, you need that to be, you know, 20 to 30%, and I'm almost at 60. So this character is just naturally beefy. And that really helps the whole package. Um, so again, you know, I'm using this like incredible gaze here. Get that 18% armor. That's the highest armor all I've ever found. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, and some pretty good resistances on top of that. This is a great help. This is this is an all-time find for me at least. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with how the character's playing right now. It's working. I would call this a celestial character. It's in that discussion. It's not the best, but it's. I will take it for a solo self-found character, and it's. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I love tactician. I, I definitely like this combo quite a bit. But you can just kind of set and forget what you're doing. It doesn't matter. I love that type of character too. Uh, let's. You know what? I'll just farm a little bit for some. Maybe I'll get like a physical helmet upgrade or something. Let's let's see if I can do that. These idiots here. Oh, and they're all gone. Look at that. Look at that. They're all history. Yeah, base game is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. Um, it all they're all gone. Uh, again, you're dealing with a celestial level character. It makes the base game easy. Corvac is nothing really. It, the base game does not. This character has ascended. But it makes farming easier. So you, what you do is you go in here and you farm shit up. You. Uh... Yeah, this is the right balance. This build used to have trouble killing and it was. Like, yeah, it takes a while to get my force wave back out, but it's not terrible. I can 
get every five seconds from this to the or five, five because of casting. Big damage again, debuffing. My other procs are going off, and it just ruins. Them. There you go. These guys are hurting me a little bit. These guys uh, can use fire damage that that breaks through a little bit. It can happen, and sometimes aether. Like I don't think this character could take on Madrag. No way. Not 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 currently. I think it's too much for this character. Uh, lots of lots of different damage types on pretty weak. Oh, was was uh was that not up? I don't think I have my aura up. That would that, that would explain it. Like my aura not being up really puts me in trouble. I was gonna make sure word of renewal is up. It has to be up always. Uh, fine. I'm trying to find some interesting items and uh, anything. Oops, Spalders, how much? Yeah, look at my Spalder rolls here. Almost 200 on the physical roll. That's insane. You know, looking for top tier items is a lot of fun in this game. The, the, the when you look for these god rolls, it's really fun. Like, that extra 7% Aether resistance is no joke. But I don't want to sacrifice um, you know, the, the numbers that I have on mine. This one also got an extra defensive ability roll on it, which is nice, but I don't think so. I mean, yeah, 7% would get me closer to cap and you know, maybe it's an upgrade, but I don't think. I think, you know, if a boss is going to start hurting me, I'm just going to try to get away from it. We're renewal back up on this here. All right, these guys could hurt me a little bit. Absolutely. These guys can do damage. There we go. Yeah, some of these casters are annoying and uh, they can hurt a little bit. Hmm. Right, just for elemental exchange. That's, that's an interesting combo right there. Here we go. You'll see the fire damage hurts me a little bit. That can break through with these casters. They're they're pretty strong. They they are annoying. These guys, these ancients. Uh, so yeah, my fire my fire resistance is not great. I'm, Enemy hero down. We like to see it. We like to see that a lot. Oh yeah, four thousand, four hundred thousand there. Nice. We like seeing it break the four hundred k. Here we go. Nice, 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 nice. Very good stuff. What did I find here? Is that new? Wait a minute. New item time? No, I found this. But I have, uh, wait a minute, I have two of them now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we got two of those. Very nice. 
You got the race skeletons. You got the physical damage to fire on the pet conversion, one-handed dagger. You got flame touch, race skeletons, reaping strike. Eight percent health conversion for a necro. For a, what they call necro demo, like a hundred percent conversion. Huh. Devouring swarm. Okay. Yeah, look, I mean, see this here? You got the physical, the fire, and then you have the, the fire on top of it. That's what I'm talking about. You get that. Like, this one's, this one's, eh. I don't know. These are, they, they can sell. I can. But... So, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a wall there. <laughs> Let's not go through the wall. All right, uh, let's see. The Cask of the Fox. Aether and Chaos. Uh, only. A hundred and eight percent bleed resistance on the chest. It's sometimes interesting when you find these like over a hundred percent pieces that they uh, they can they can open up how you play characters a little bit. You can uh, like again you can choose to use different opponents because your gear is making up so much of the difference. It might even free up a gear choice. But again, I I I'd find that highly specialized and not usually necessary. If you're playing a good build, or you found the gear, you know you've done the the numbers a little bit. You like you know generally what it's doing. And it's not a big deal. More like a, to me, that's like a nice, maybe leveling piece. You find those high rolls. Because we're usually slacking in other areas, and that's the problem.
Aggressive Corbin Armor of Protection. Is That's I wish it was a little higher on the stand. Ah. I wish. Um, pretty sick. Sigil of Consumption, huh? Uh, we got Siphon Souls, Blackwater Cocktail. Okay, this is definitely a Necro-ish style thing. Um, okay. Physical. Okay, let's see here. Oh, nice. These guys will do some damage. These are all fire based. See, I'm getting hurt a little bit. It's funny to think that these minions here do more damage than John Bourbon. <laughs> to me. Isn't that crazy? Acid, fire, lightning, poison, ether, reduced sun, duration. Night. I wish it was elemental, but. Uh, see, like, I'm not doing a lot of damage without my buffs up. And the debuff. So, like, you can definitely see that it, it lacks in some areas. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how far I'll get in. Uh, what's it called? The, the, the gauntlet, the battle. Uh, the arena mode. totally blanking on what it's called uh but here's the thing uh you are able to you know kind of take that as you want your own pace uh a two-handed version of this build that did more damage uh made it to what wave 54 and then wave 55 just just broke through me i, I couldn't uh, couldn't keep up they were like feeling the damage they were attacking the crucible what I was trying to say, Crucible. And I don't think this character does less damage than that build, and I don't think I'm beating that 55th wave with this character. Just how it's designed, it's it, you have to have, in that Crucible mode, you need a little bit more firepower. Now, the other, but I was kind of like running away from them, so maybe if I can sustain I could take on that 55th wave. I don't know. 
There's a chance. There's a chance that I might be able to do the 15. Not sure. We'll see. Durable of four chain. <laughs> I'll do. I'll go into that uh, dungeon down there. In the beetle nest. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll go in the beetle nest. And we'll go on the beetle nest and we will uh, probably have to end the stream in about at 20 30 something like that and, uh, call it a day there get out of here yeah, let's go on the beetle nest let's, let's, let's give it a shot out this boss which spawns right here it is Mythical adversary. That's oh. Let's go. Uh did I have I ever found Okay, yeah, this is this one, right? It's been a while since I've seen that that item. debuffed hey another one here we go we like seeing this bulwark of octavius hold on a minute hold on a minute guys wait a second the bulwark of our you know what all this shit's going away hold the phone i found i don't think i've ever found is this the first one i found of this really this, oh, bro, if I have an Octavius set, just even two pieces, uh, it boosts my damage. Runicaust. This is a Tactician build. This is a Tactician shield. Let's see what the three set is. The three set is, you get, oh, again, that extra physical res. Don't use Runicaust or this build. Then you get Force Wave on the four. Interesting. Maybe an Octavius style build. 
Interesting. That would be... That would be... Uh... Maybe when this character is more specialized or it's like more complete, might consider the Octavian set. Maybe. Huh. Perhaps. But the way that I don't need the I don't need to play a step right now. This is working very, very. Well. It's pretty damn good. Wait, wait, can I withstand these guys without any buffs up? Let's take a look. A lot of physical damage in these monsters. Not bad. Like I just have my aura up. Let's put a. Let's put that down. Let's put that down, and then we will. Yeah, like once I have a once I have word of renewal out, you're, this is what you're looking at. You're looking at very good uh, crowd resist. You got all these physical attackers trying to hurt me, and then you know, it's, it's good. Sixty percent physical resistance does wonder for, for just like the the ease of playing. Way easier. You have all that physical resistance. Another one. Mark of Unlock. Mark of Unlock. Uh, oh, whoops. I have absolutely lost. Oh, here it is. I have found this before. That's, uh, I have one for my apostate, I think. I'm basically out of gear space. Retaliation damage, you know, helps the clear speed a bit. So that is also why on this character, I was trying to be a devotion. We have um, really for this character, the, the areas that I'm focusing on most. You know, I have um, I have a couple points in here for Aether Red, but the the, the areas where you know, you're getting the most use of this character. Assassin's Mark, of course. You definitely want this on all, you know, physical style characters. I'm using the uh, stone form here on field command. Look at the damage absorption. I mean, you're buffing retaliation. You're, you're buffing uh, your damage absorption. Yes, I don't really... And, and then the bleed duration, the poison duration reduction, that helps, right? And then in this uh, obelisk of men here, this is, as you can see, it's one of the edge abilities. The design of this devotion system is that the edge abilities typically have more weight to them. They're a little harder to invest, invest into, but they carry a little more weight or impact. So look at this, like I got shield damage blocked, I got more chance to block, I got retaliation damage there, more armor, more defensibility, more armor, or defensive ability. This is just a lot of beef. Some good beef here. They got reduced stun and freeze. 
Max Pierce, all these things can just really help your character. Then, of course, Shield Maiden, which was buffed uh, last year. Uh, this is a nice set for, of course, you're definitely going to use this for a shield. I chose to go with Stag because it helps with some of the physical damage that I need. But then it has some Pierce and resistance in there, physical resistance. You know, you're seeing a theme here, right? And then the area that I think is a little different, I'm actually using cleansing water. Now, given the map, I have Light of Empyrean, which I highly recommend uh, to anyone who wants a really good point investment. Light of Empyrean is great. But then you're getting the three points here under cleansing water. This is interesting, right? You slow trash mobs. That means their attacks are slower. So this increases your uh, your opponent's attack speed, which helps you. And, and as I level this thing up, that slow gets better and better and better. So I'm looking forward to seeing this thing maxed out. It's 51, or excuse me, 41%. No, excuse me. Basically, close to 50% slow on attack speed for my, you know, mobs and stuff like that. But here's the thing. This thing removes beneficial auras and spells from foes. And you are cleansed of any negative ailment. That's a bleed, a curse, anything that screws with you. This thing washes that away. Any damage over time, bleed, light bleach, all that stuff, I believe, is counted in this. So, with that in mind, um, you have, overall, a good package where I can still clear content in a respectable amount of time, not breaking speed records or anything, but it's enough to play it fairly efficient. Farming is not a problem. You know, totem farming is easy. That's not a, you know, again, the base game does not really affect me at all. What you're seeing here in this act, uh, the fire casters here, this is one of the areas in the game where this character might have a small weakness. You saw my health bar getting hit a little bit around here. Another area, what am I doing? Um, of course, Father Kaiman's Temple. So yeah, again, I'll just show you like the fire damage in here could probably hurt a little bit, but you know, not in a way that really hinders my farming speeds. Like here, these guys, these guys can hurt a little bit. You see my health bar going down, but it's nothing that I can't you know bounce back from. It's not a big deal. So, you know, every build has a weakness. Depending on how good the build is, that weakness might be small. It might be, you know, more noticeable. You know, the better a build is, the less noticeable your weaknesses are, but you still have them, no matter what you do. That laceration, ether, I would, oh man, if that physical damage rolled better, I might have picked that up. Ah. Uh, that's not terrible. Lost it. Hold off. I don't know. I have no room for gear. I gotta sell some shit. If I want to actually farm here, I gotta sell. Oops. My bad. I forgot to sell. Yeah, you can see this is not a problem. This is this is this is not a problem at all. This is easy. Uh, yeah, I'll just do one little run through there and, and then I'll have to call it a stream. But I'm glad I got to upload this and, and make a record for, for the channel. I just like to occasionally like to update my progress in this game and uh, track how things are going. That, that's what I enjoy doing. 
Why do I have this? This trash. Also, is this? You know what I'll do? I will, uh, this is a good help. Oh, really? Um, you know, I'll get rid of some shit, like these powered items I don't need to fuck with. I could get rid of Gazer Man. I already have a Gazer Man. I freaking feel. Get rid of this guy. Get rid of that. Like, do I need these things? Like, for real? Do I really need them? These are good. Definitely. Uh, but I've held this for a while. Uh, attack damage to drain essence. I don't need any of the things. We can always farm a bazillion of them again. It's not a big deal to farm those. You can just farm them around here. You can find some really good rolls on them. Like, you know, all these here. You can go literally up the way there and find better ones. Sell that. Right now I've opened up some room. That's cool. That's good enough. Let's just get back. All right, so yeah, I'll just do this and call it a day. I'll have to move on after this. Oh, nice. Assassin's Mark level up. We like to see that. Yeah, I just want to get that to max rank. Every little percent helps. Every percent is a step further. Yeah, see, the one I have is just amazing. It's real. Oh, good. We got this idiot here. Nice. Anyway, this guy used to take me like five full minutes to, to clear when I was going hard tank with this character. And uh, yeah, that's not the case anymore. It takes about 30 seconds. There we go, nice. You get all the buffs in a row and then you use a force wave and it crits on top of it. <laughs> it's all good, man. That's when you get the big hit. Um. Anything worth our time? Uh, wear shoulders? No. That one's a little better for my apostasy. The question is, do I care? I mean, we'll see. Let's go to the I'll go to the next section. Speed on through here. So I heard you like getting horse wave.
Like these mobs, when you first get to this area in the game, they are scary. This whole area is really scary when you're first starting out. You're like, oh my god, they, and they chase you and do so much damage. And then you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> this is nothing. And you know, you and I that's the feeling I love in these games when you put in the time and you uh, build something from scratch, then it works and you see the progress. And uh, you know, it's just fun that you did it yourself and found the stuff. And it's, you know, that's the best that's the best feeling in, in this type of game. That's why I've always enjoyed this genre. Uh, you know, the games that I enjoy in this genre, this is my favorite of those games, and uh, the one I the one I jive with. So. so that's the way I roll. Oh, we got these idiots. Yeah, so these guys, they, they, these combos, these two. They take an eternity to beat, and you have to like clear out everything else because they heal each other. It's a very frustrating comp. But, you know, nowadays I can clear them and not worry too much about it. All right, let's see what else we got. Maven's will, no. Right of the trash, All right? Let's do it. Let's keep going. The, uh, oh, good. The mini boss is, is, has spawned in here, which is good for us. We like seeing that. We will, we will defeat him. He has these, uh, these summonable objects that uh, I think they do acid damage. I'm not 100% sure. I think they do. Maybe something else as well, but uh, we'll handle them just fine. Oh, this is like a, this is, oh, here we go. It's like a raid boss. Here, it's a little bit more challenge. Here we go. Here we go. A little bit more challenging. Oh, actually, yeah. This is like a mini, the way it spawned, a little more challenging. Okay. So his, his, uh, he'll still do damage, but we can mitigate a lot of it. All right. Those guys are all gone. And uh, now we can focus on this. Guys, on, huh? But he's healing up with these. Uh... Let's kill the 
I gotta get rid of this. Uh, if he has any sort of healer around, gotta get rid of it. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, so there's one thing in this game that is annoying, uh, at least with this character, and that is that there's a bug on the glyph that I use, the blade rush, whatever it's called. And this thing like doesn't work if I'm close to an enemy. I can't use it. And, you know, I wonder if that's intentional design, but I don't think it is. Uh, because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, even if I'm close. Like you just saw there, it works. There are times where um, I will use it and uh, it doesn't, doesn't prop. Now here is here's an elemental, poison an elemental. Elemental goes higher. Um, retaliation's higher. Damage is higher uh, for this character. Uh, bu 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 defensive ability. Ooh. Maybe? Possibly? That might be okay? Ooh. I don't think I never found that. I don't think I've ever found that. Let's take a look. Oh, let's just let's just take a look. So first, I got a blueprint. Nice. That, that is, I have never found the Dagalon. All right, very nice. We found the new item. Sick. Never found them. I like that. So, uh, new item. Yeah, I, I think overall this is good. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to just be Kaiman and I'll call it a stream. You know, Kaiman's fire damage can uh, maybe tickle me a little. I don't know. Again, Kaiman's also a real, um, a real like, uh, progress hurdle. Um, if you don't have physical resistance, you can't beat Kaiman. Uh, it's almost impossible. So you, it's actually like a gear, a hard gear check, and it's a very annoying boss when you first start. But uh, yeah, this guy, this guy initially 
See, the glyph isn't working. You see that? It's a bug. I can proc it, but nothing happens. Like, look at this. Like, because of because of my physical resistance, I'm in, like, can't even hurt my character. I'll just stand still even watch. <laughs> like, if you have good physical resistance, this guy can't do anything. The fire damage isn't sufficient enough to break through. Even with Enrage on, we'll do Enrage too, just be. Man, I used to struggle. I'm telling you, like, the progress, just the way to build a character, how you make it better over time, like, I used to struggle. I used to struggle with him, like, when I was first playing uh, this this difficulty. And, like, because I was using uh, my saboteur, and my saboteur had, like, two physical resistance. Terrible. And I could not survive time. But if you have physical resistance, it's a lot easier. As you saw, like, it's a real end game character. This is my best character currently in the game. Uh, again, I do solo self bound, so it's not as easy. The fact that this is basically a celestial level character is really cool. Um, over time, could be some adjustments to the character, uh, but you're seeing with buffs up, I, I, I'm well within a. And th this is a little low. I mean, some people would like to see this higher, but. I'm going with defense. I, I choose defense more than offense because when you get to those endgame bosses, they do so much damage to you, uh, it's unreal. But uh, this is, I'm happy with this. So I just wanted to archive that for the channel today. Um, really awesome that you were able to do this. Kind of showcase the build. I'm really excited uh, that the build is ne near complete. Yeah, here and there improvements, but generally, I really like what I'm seeing here. Uh, and uh, that's going to be the stream for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you around. I know I don't upload a lot these days, but uh, I will once in a while.